All right, here we are. This is episode 10, where we last left off. We were doing the Benedicta fight at the top of Care Norvent. Um, that's the fight. She's like a badass, like Valkyrie-like chick. Uh, it culminates in Clive getting um, the power of Garuda. I don't know if that officially makes him the dominant now, where he, he's just like, uh, you know, blessed with the touch of Garuda like he already was of the Phoenix. And then once you get done with that sequence, you and Sid leave Care Norvent and you're like trying to get away from there because obviously it's on fire and there's smoke and stuff. So the Empire is going to come looking and um, yeah, you're trying to get out of there. Um, this is in the field right after. And we're again, we're getting real close to live. Like just watching and not me watching clips. Obviously, this is all still me playing just on my own PlayStation and would have recorded it off stream. With that established, I'm gonna let it ride until a cutscene. Just murking them. I know it's real fun. I mean, it's not like the perfect iteration of this combat system, um, but it is. It's fun.
I love this shot. See the smoke in, and not only the, the smoke, obviously, but even the one of the rooks, one of the towers up there, one of the sides of that rook is collapsed from when uh, Benedicta broke it down. Oh, I love when games accurately reflect that kind of stuff. Joey, are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. You don't do things by half, do you? This way. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bears, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody half for you, I guess. That's a great point. Oh, is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be. Had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing my job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. She's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get go, you. Go, go, go. <laughs> What am I going to do? The Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? Uh, Give her a piggyback. Won't make it by sunset. Oh shit! He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Let's go! Dude, that's doubly bad for. Not that I feel bad for Benedicta, but I mean, she just lost her powers. Uh, her her lover. Um, oh, no, never mind. She was in the bed with Barnabas, not Garof. Unless she's also hooking up with him. Damn, what an ambush. They're super good with those axes. Oh. What do we have here? This reminds me of the Brotherhood Without Banners in Game of Thrones. Literally on a... the slavers of this service if we didn't praise her work. Stay away! <laughs> yeah, super brotherhood without banners that. It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Oh, this is Sid finding Benedicta. Dang. So she was like a, not necessarily a slave, but. Is this it, Adolphus? My punishment for not listening to you. Whoa. She got a little bit of her power back. It's like the beginning of um, the X-Men movies from the early 2000s. Watching it, like the mutation happen on the genome. Whoa, like Queen Harpy. Bruh, each individual feather blowing like that. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, that castle and the mother curse in the background. Clive felt that. 
He's like, hey, we're wind Sid. companions. Do you feel it too? <laughs> Garuda. They're like a, f a weird kind of fan uh, Eskimo brothers. By the flames. I'm still dying to know who is this like creepy voice that Clive hears. He heard it back in the past at Phoenix Gate. I think it might be. Either my early guesses. I've said this before. Is Barnabas because he's trying to like unify all the icons and then like make like a council or something. But that's a bit off. Another like off guess is his dad. I have to go back and look at how the events lined up. It's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedict's rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm All right, so we're here, and then this. Turning back. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'd have to look at exactly how everything lined up, but I feel like <clears throat> Clive and Joshua's dad, the Archduke, would have been stabbed first. Then, a, like a couple frames later, like the next shot, um, moments, whenever Clive would have seen the hooded figure or or the like a fire specter thing basically i feel like his dad died then the shit started to happen and he heard the voices and he saw all the stuff so i'm wondering if um uh yeah so that was my other guess it could be barnabas trying to unify them it could be his dad on some like force ghost like obi-wan qui-gon jinn calling back to him assuming the events line up to where his dad dies first then clive hears the voice back in the Phoenix Gate thing 13 years ago. Um, okay, but then we pick right back up. This is just further down the road. All these, like, not only is this is really cool, not only are there all these, like, little uh, mini tornadoes, these, like, little cyclones popping up, but um, you, there's, like, a bunch of harpies just, like, chilling out in the open world. Or not, you know, not open world, but the overworld. Wow, like a Horcrux. Wind elemental. Uh, this one's creeping. The Dragon's Airy, or Emerald Blades Down by the Mirror, Mire, Do, Ori, Wyvern, Rome. Their tempers hot, their eye, thy in cold, thy are their home. Nailed it. Got it calling me. <laughs> or Bell Downs. This is me just peeping the map for a second. I'm gonna actually skip this while we're still on the recording. And eventually I'm like, all right, we'll go to where we need to go. Eye of the Tempest.
Please! Clive. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Oh shit. As the flames of his icon took Joshua. Ow! Awakening. <clears throat> so, Wendy, I'm going to skip ahead here in a second because I do go into photo mode. You know, I got moonlight, I got wind, I got a cool little collapsed ruin. I'm going to get me a little screenshot of this. Yo, this is so epic, man. God, this franchise does epic so well. Them and God of Wars. Garuda. Straight from the Benedict fight to Garuda herself. Pokey pokey. Arena, big ass balls. What can go wrong? Damn, face down, ass up. Garuda, not now. Not now. Oh, love that. My potion game isn't strong. Coming into this fight with two total. And I, I think I'm still on, at this point, I'm still on the default sword. I hadn't gone back to the hideaway and upgraded stuff. Take down, large enemies will become partly staggered when they reduce to 50%. Use her deadly embrace. We read that when we first got it. It's actually really dope. You gotta time it, but you Okay. 
not ideal. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's, it's so badass. But so much visual fodder. I hate when I'm above them. Ooh. 7k. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why are we, why are we close up there? What's happening? Fear bomb? Aerial blast. The animations, though, are so good. Final Fantasy has always had cutting edge, um, industry redefining cutscenes. Or maybe I should say always, because I don't know, I haven't played every single Final Fantasy, but that is one of their claims to fame. This is like, I didn't know what to do in the sequence initially. He's got like a barrier around him. He's got these little geyser energy blasts popping up. I came in with two total potions. Side swipe. Mm. Mm. Definitely came into this fight in shambles. All right, we're going to end that episode. And almost on some Dragon Ball, sh Dragon Ball Z shit. Find out on next episode, will I be able to beat Garuda? Um, yeah, I love this symbol is pretty cool here. And the, um, the load time in this game is damn near instantaneous thanks to the uh, PS5's SSD. All right, this is sick. We uh, led up to the Garuda fight, saw the tornadoes. Practice getting good with the like uh, wind skills. <laughs>